how to say no do you know what a binary is is a pattern recognized by computers containing a series of zeros and ones a computer can represent anything a word a picture an audio file or a video in binary language in real life also we can see binary situation day and night up and down black and white and of course our favorite yes and no the word yes and no was supposed to be equal and natural but in reality one of them weighs on us heavily than the other imagine someone is telling you come let's play only two answer are possible yes or no it is always easier to say yes because you don't have to really worry about anything you are basically agreeing to whatever the other person says so everything will be fine once you say yes on other hand if you have to say no even though it is also a genuine choice of yours the disagreement is immediately apparent what if your best friend ask you for a game how can you say no isn't it insulting the problem is that the word sees no as negative answer and the person who says it is considered a spoiled sport odd man out or a rotten potato but what is the reality as we saw earlier saying yes please everyone but is that a right choice let us say we are in middle of an examination the guy sitting next to you is asking you please help me tell me the answer for a question number 8 will you no now it is very easy to say yes after all you want to help your friend don't you moreover if you say no it might hurt the other person after the exam is over he may stop talking to you or was friend may come and beat you up for not helping their friend in the examination but if you say yes instead of no because you are afraid of the consequences it might hurt you in the long run if you decide to help your friend by allowing him to copy your exam papers a vigilant teacher may throw both of you out of the exam hall so saying yes or agreeing to others may look like an easy solution but in the long run it is not advisable to say yes when you don't want to this does not mean yes he is a bad answer or no he is a good answer it all depends on the situation and you should never feel bad about saying no when that is the best decision for that scenario but this is not easy the world looks at those who say no with a wrong attitude just look at your parents when they ask you to do some work they expect you to say yes and won't take no for an answer but if there is a good reason for you to say no you should not hesitate or say yes just because that's the answer they want to hear from you for example tomorrow there is an exam and your father calls you for a quick game of chess you may say no dad i need to study suddenly no has become a good acceptable answer how simply you padded it up with a reason that's all communication experts call it sugar coating you are giving a bad medicine but coating it with enough sweetness so that it does not hurt when the other reason swallows it so your no needs sugar coating how can we do it first of all whether you say yes or no that should be a reason behind whatever you are saying or doing that helps us put things in perspective miss and mr purva are planning to go to family's friend wedding their only daughter pooja also wants to join in them but the marriage hall is far away traveling all the way there and returning will be a tired for pooja she won't be able to finish her homework on time or get ready for school the next day miss purva tries to explain all things to her daughter but pooja is very adamant i too want to go see christ now your father takes a different approach he says day after tomorrow is a saturday and there is a children's fair arranged in the city hall i will take you to the program if you agree to stay at home tonight if you agree to stay at home tonight that's a deal pooja agrees immediately this is the magic of sugar coating even when the answer no is bitter people don't see it that way but is in that sitting not at all both yes and no are perfectly valid answer to your problem we are only trying to explain this to others by providing the reason behind our nose at one end we have yes and at the other end it is no is there a choice in between of course it's called let's see it is a very famous response used by many people around the world consider what happens in a court when there is a case between two people 
the judge listen to the arguments of both parties and try to make a decision it's not easy one he may have to think about so many things considered various angles referred to earlier cases discuss with few experts if required and finally arrive at a conclusion all this take time so he decided to reserve his judgment in other ways he is buying more time to think about the problem and arrive at an optimal solution we can also use this judgment reserve technique effectively in many situation how expert says we need to buy time for making any decision unless and until it's a medical emergency or the building is on fire and people can't afford to wait remember we are not buying time to sit and relax time has to be effectively used for collecting the background information other facts about the problem in hand and for considering an optimal response or solution another reason is when you are in hurry we tend to move away from rational thinking and make an emotional decision on the other hand when you take a break and think about it slowly and carefully physical brains take over observe what chess players do just because there are so many coins and boxes on their table they don't move them rapidly or do whatever comes to their mind first they stop and think about various movements how their opponent may react to them and finally make their choice we can follow the same in any situation take a deep breath and collect as much information about the problem as possible analyze them effectively and finally say yes or no without worrying about what others may think about it okay guys thanks for watching